We ready? Yep. Being a social change company actor. Take one. What have you learned about being an actor that does social change theater? What have I learned? I learned this. He how to project <laughs> over and over again. No, but it's uh, it's actually good. I mean, it's a, a new way of speaking uh, so the audience can hear and uh, ultimately hear the message that we're going to give them. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a whole different experience for me. I've never taken a theater class in my life and uh, in my mid-30s now. And I always enjoyed making videos and and uh, being in little skits we would do for fun growing up, but uh, never got to be in theater. Um, but it's, uh, this is an, an, a neat thing, and there's, there's one thing I really learned early on in the, uh, in the course was actually when we took a test, uh, just wrote down certain aspects of how we learned, and uh, seeing what sense you use to learn, if you're an audio learner, a visual learner, if you're like me and you, you learn by smells, memory uh, smells trigger your memory, and how those all come into play. And ultimately, w the more senses you incorporate in in something you're learning, the the more it'll stick in your mind. Because people have not just one sense that they rely on, but usually a couple senses. So the more um, senses you can activate will definitely stick in someone's mind and capture their attention to grasp the message you want to give out. And that's ultimately, you know, what our goal is here as, as company actors to do is, is to grab their attention and to get them to look at uh, what we're portraying in, in our skits. And uh, our skits are, are varied. I mean, they cover all topics of diversity in the workplace um, uh, from sexual harassment to uh, age discrimination, things like that, and these touchy subjects that, you know, that definitely hurt people and destroy a work climate and make it not fun to go to work for these people. And, uh, you know, we're there to, to show these people how it affects, how the other person feels in it, and, um, and to clear up other people that may think they're innocent uh, in a scenario and, and make them look at themselves retrospectively and and say, you know what, I could have handled that situation better. Or when that situation comes up next time, I know how people can take that, take my gesture or take my words. And, uh, you know, it might not be exactly how I intended. Yeah. How did insights from the book covering the play Trouble in Mind and your company scenarios all come together? Oh, they all come together beautifully. First of all, the book, uh, the covering, was uh, about a gay man, a, a gay lawyer who was Japanese, and uh, just how his experiences through life. And uh, the play Trouble in Mind was about a, a company of uh, black actors uh, in a time not too long ago where racism was uh, really high and how they had to struggle with... Uh, the climate of their times and being discriminated against because they're black. And uh, both of those scenarios, I mean, I can't fit in. I'm not a gay man. I got a family and I'm not black. But uh, it definitely put you in, in their shoes and allowed me to see through their eyes of how they were discriminated against, how they were treated by other people, and, uh, and how they reacted and uh, gave me a more round sense on, on these you know, these roles that I've not played before, how to uh, really be in their shoes and feel like them and uh, empathize with them. But uh, yeah, it's just great. And then our time in the company, uh, doing wh whether we're doing skits, learning from the interactive skits to learning how to work together as groups and collaborate with each other uh, has just been amazing. It's been a great time. and. Uh, um, a really good experience and uh, you know stretching our abilities on how we just move our face to how we connect with our body to get different movements in uh, it's just uh, it's just a learning experience and uh, it just keeps on coming together and fitting together and and ultimately all these things are coming together just to give us new perspectives on 
on people and situations that we can incorporate in skits and uh, and really uh, make people believe what we're doing out there on stage and, and make them get into the scenarios so it, uh, it looks real, making them feel that tension and uh, getting them to think. Define the real work of a social change actor. The real work of a social change actor is um, to get these perspectives of these different people and uh, portray them to the best of their abilities and uh, really you develop these little condensed nutritional nuggets like, like I like to call them and they're they're fortified with real life scenarios and uh, being able to do that condense that into like a five ten minute skit it can be tricky it takes a it, it takes some work to get that skit to to cover the topics you want to cover and to strike the chords and people you want to strike but uh, once you do that it's just it's amazing because it gets uh, it gets people thinking I mean when I watched the first couple skits in class it definitely you could feel it you could feel the tension in the air I like that you can you, it puts you in that scenario and made you think of how that other person felt or how that person thought they felt and um, being able to ask them questions, you know, after the skit's all over with and they're still heightened from whatever conflict they have and uh, they're arguing with each other on stage and then you're asking a question and they're angry at you because, you know, they're, they're still in character. So you really feel the whole aspect and you get to probe deeper to find out why they feel that way and uh, really uh, get into those people and, uh, and it does, it, it impacts the folks who watch it and it and it helps them change behaviors I believe you know if they truly watch it with a open mind and uh, and be reflective about it which most people would generally do and uh, yeah it just it, it definitely provokes thought and it utilizes all those senses like like the class and like I said before in the interview using all those senses whether you're using incense on stage or or cologne for the smell or you know, you got the visual there, you got the audio there, you got all, I mean, you can incorporate written things, you know, you can incorporate so much on there and it, and it really, it just resonates with, with the whole audience and just the audience being in there, being in that office or being in that setting, in that home, they, uh, they feel like they're in there, they're in the scene and it's just, uh, it's really powerful. I think it's powerful than any media and uh, even though we do it on the, Smaller scale, we do it within the university. These skits are for different departments, and you know, focusing on stuff like maybe age discrimination or um, or just like ethnic discriminations, like with the Native Americans um, and sexual harassment, things like that. But uh, that's great for these departments, so they can learn and, and incorporate in that in their training for their people. But uh, also on on a big scale. You know, doing skits like these and posting them on new media like YouTube could have major impacts on people and really get them to think and be interesting to watch. And uh, it's just really amazing. It's just, it's just amazing. I love it. I love the theater for the social change. And uh, I'll probably try to continue to do this wherever I may end up in the future. And I think that's a wrap.